The term crowdsourcing was born in 2006. An editor from Wired, Jeff Howe, wrote an article called The Rise of Crowdsourcing, which was an immediate success. Crowdsourcing is, is when a company takes a job that was once performed by employees and outsources it in the form of an open call to a large, undefined group of people generally using the internet. Crowdsourcing is an organizational method that permits businesses to increase their value and visibility by involving large groups of users outside of the company boundary. of information and communication abundance that no one could have ever predicted. Children grow up with access to information, with a window into the rest of the world. A Maasai warrior on a cell phone in the middle of Kenya has better mobile comm than President Reagan did 25. Three billion new minds who have never been heard from before are connecting to the global conversation. From the lines in their face to the dirt on their hands are more real to me. Finding another person that I connect with. Questioning the status quo, right? And then kind of trying to say, does it have to be this way or can we paint on a new canvas? Attachment, affection, companionship. Harvesting stem cells from their own eyes to grow new corneas. Thousands of physicists from all over the world working at this same goal of finding out what the fundamental building blocks of nature are. By doing a Google search, there are 6,150,000 pages that make reference to crowdsourcing. To get a really good understanding how widespread this phenomenon is and how it is affecting the business world, we need to consider a few things. The ever-growing number of startups that use the crowdsourcing model, applying it to creativity, communication, content, and investments. Crowdsourcing is key in research and development, knowledge for new ideas, and for the development of new software. How did it get so successful? In today's business world, it is imperative to know how to move inside these new outlets made up of connected people, individuals who can bring vast knowledge and value to any operation. Companies have to update their management model, keeping these changes in mind. The traditional model like Taylor's Ford production chain from the early 1900s, which is still used by many companies in many sectors today, a model that has been fine-tuned applying the theory of human resources based upon the maximum use of internal resources, is no longer valid, and it is not enough to apply other management theories from the 60s onward, which entail widening the market boundaries by outsourcing to consider a company lean, and concentration on their core competence to create new districts. Today, 100 years after the Industrial Revolution, we live in a completely different world. We are all connected. We all contribute, participate, produce ideas and content. It is vital that the companies recognize this new business ecosystem and that they are convinced of the new way of creating value, the value of participation. And when we speak of value, what comes to mind is Porter's chain of value to put into evidence the value of participation at all levels and involve all of the links in the chain of value of a company. Participation value can be created at the structural level of a company through crowdfunding, inside with social enterprise, research and development, acquisitions, marketing, sales and production, 
especially for service-based companies. The general thought shared by many is that we're going through a revolutionary time for all business. If we agree that all companies owe their success to their capacity to adapt in the best way possible to their surroundings, then they must understand the evolution that is taking place around them. The fact is that there are many people who do participate, people who contribute, and if you want to be successful, you must learn how to manage this participation. We have a vision of a company without borders, an open enterprise that becomes a platform thanks to crowdsourcing, a management model that is possible that creates value. For example, Starbucks received 100,000 innovative product ideas through a community web. Dell, one of the first to use crowdsourcing with the platform IdeaStorm, and Procter Gamble, who saw a 50% increase in the success of their products due to a project called P&G Connect that connected them with other platforms of scientists. All of these new organizational methods allow companies to create value, and of all these, crowdsourcing is the most accessible. 